So here we have the Mini Cooper S convertible on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have those twin exhaust pipes that are unique to the Cooper S, as well as reversing sensors. Given the fact that it's a convertible, we have plenty of boot space along with that 50-50 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle, and on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge. Also in the middle, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 41,632. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the end of the indicator stalk. Uh, for various bits of trip computer, fuel economy information, you can, for example, have the digital readout for the speedometer you see being displayed now. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter, and over on the right-hand side, stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after you pair the phone up to the car. And that is done over on the screen in the center just here under the uh, telephone heading uh, and then you would go to um, your bluetooth devices and follow instructions on the screen from there which we're not going to do at the moment uh, we've got satellite navigation as you can see this is bm um, uh, mini's xl satellite navigation so it's the extra wide screen media pack xl really nice clear color display we've done a video uh, showing how the sat nav works you can find that on our website and also on our uh, YouTube channel as well. All the movement you see me making up on the screen is being done using this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it. So you can access certain things directly like satellite navigation or your telephone, for example, or you can use the dial. So you can rotate it, for example, to radio, push the dial down. You'll see we've got FM, AM and DAB radio. We can go back a step to listen to your own music. We rotate the dial to multimedia uh, and rotate it to external devices. And you'll see there that you've got USB input, Bluetooth audio and auxiliary input as well. So really, really easy system to use. Every time you rotate it to anything, it will tell you what that setting is as well. Uh, also, if I pop the vehicle into reverse, you'll see we have a full color reversing camera as well as the parking sensors. Working our way down from that, we then have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase or decrease the fan speed. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so it's off, back on again, or you can hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures that you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. Press auto again to put it back on whatever setting you had it on previously. We can turn the traction control off, start and stop the car, and that turns off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is turned off when that light shows. We then have the gear lever for the six speed manual gearbox. We have a 12 volt charging socket, auxiliary and USB inputs down there. And then lastly, this control here will change the uh, driving setup of the car. So you can put the car into sport, mid or green modes. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the uh, roof, of course, on this car. So you have a button just up here. If you use that button just the first time, you'll notice the roof will stop by itself here uh, to give you a kind of a sunroof section. Go back up to the button, press it again. All four windows will go down to begin with. The roof will start to come back. And if you keep your finger on the button long enough, all of the windows will also go back up again, or you can stop short of that should you wish to. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.